The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. You have surely heard the way in which God entrusted me with the grace He gave me for your sake. He made known to me by a revelation the mystery I have just described briefly. A reading of it will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. This mystery, as it is now revealed in the Spirit to His holy apostles and prophets, was unknown to humanity in previous generations. That the Gentiles now have the same inheritance and form the same body and enjoy the same promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I have been made the servant of that gospel by a gift of grace from God who gave it to me by the workings of his power. I, who am less than the least of all God's holy people, have been entrusted with this special grace of proclaiming to the Gentiles the unfathomable treasure of Christ and of throwing light on the inner workings of the mystery kept hidden through all the ages in God, the creator of everything. The purpose of this was that now through the church, the principalities and ruling forces should learn how many-sided God's wisdom is, according to the plan which He had formed from all eternity in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Him we are bold enough to approach God in complete confidence through our faith in Him. And our response was taken from the prophet Isaiah. Look, He is the God of my salvation. I shall have faith and not be afraid. For Yahweh is my strength and my song. He has been my salvation. Joyfully you will draw water from the springs of salvation. And that day you will say, Praise Yahweh, invoke His name, proclaim His deeds to the people, declare His name sublime. Sing of Yahweh, for His works are majestic. Make them known throughout the world. Cry and shout for joy, you who live in Zion, for the Holy One of Israel is among you in His greatness and a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said, You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us or for everyone? The Lord replied, who then is the wise and trustworthy steward whom the master will place over his household to give them at the proper time their allowance of food? Blessed that servant if his master's arrival finds him doing exactly that. I tell you truly, he will put him in charge of everything that he owns. But if the servant says to himself, my master is taking his time coming and sets about treating the manservants and the servants' girls wrongly and eating and drinking and getting drunk, his master will come on a day he doesn't expect and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. The servant who knows what his master wants but has got nothing ready and done nothing in accord with those wishes will be given a great many strokes of the lash. The one who did not know but has acted in such a way that he deserves a beating will be given fewer strokes. When someone is given a great deal, a great deal will be demanded of that person. When someone is entrusted with a great deal of that person, even more will be expected. The Gospel of the Lord.